Good morning. When we disregard the prophet's words, whose words are we really disregarding? Now, for following Jeremiah through chronologically, we're moving up now to Jeremiah 37, and really between chapters 37 and through 44, and then we'll just do 52, and we'll be done. We'll have covered the whole book. But today, we're back over to 37, and we'll be straight through now to 44. So we're looking at the first two verses in Jeremiah chapter 37. Here's our reading. Now King Zedekiah, the son of Josiah, reigned instead of Coniah, the son of Jehoiakim, whom Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, made king in the land of Judah. But neither he nor his servants nor the people of the land gave heed to the words of the Lord, which he spoke by the prophet Jeremiah. Zedekiah was kind of a puppet king. Babylon put him on the throne, and then the rich and mighty people in Judah also pushed him this way and that, and he was kind of a malleable guy. He, he seemed to believe that Jeremiah was a prophet, and yet he would turn around and go against and do the opposite of what Jeremiah said. Zedekiah was kind of a flip-flopper, a flip-flopper really of the almost 2021 variety. There's a lot of flip-floppers, it seems, today. Poor Zedekiah, he could have come over to the Lord's side. The nation needed a strong spiritual leader, but Zedekiah doesn't seem like he was really up to that task sadly. So what we see here, though, is that Jeremiah, the king, disregarded him. He disregarded all of God's prophets and servants. He went the way that he was swayed by the people. So verse 2 says, but neither he nor his servants nor the people of the land gave heed to, listen, the words of the Lord which he spoke by the prophet Jeremiah. See, God was speaking through his servant, the prophet Jeremiah, so the words were God's words, but they were Jeremiah's words. The ideas were God's ideas, but they were Jeremiah's ideas. The will that was expressed was God's will, but it was also Jeremiah's will. And all of this reminds us that the prophet is God's spokesman. He's not just speaking because he's feeling very spiritual that day, or he's not just speaking because he has sort of his own idea that he wants to kind of toss out for people to think about. The prophet, when the prophet speaks, he's speaking to the people for God. He is speaking as though he's the mouth of God. And so we need to be careful and believe his prophets, and we'll be established and we'll be prospered. But if we if we just think, oh, that's Jeremiah, and I wonder what he ate yesterday, you know, maybe he's got indigestion, and these, these things he's saying represent his own things instead of God's things. There's a lot of ways to rationalize and say, uh, take away God's will, I don't want to hear about it. And those will get us into a lot of trouble. We need to pay close attention because when God speaks, he speaks through his servants, whether it's in the inscripturated words of the Bible or whether it's the word of a living prophet. We need to follow along and be careful and true, and God will show us what to do. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, Lord, we want to be right. You've given us your word so that we can be right. Uh, you've given us the prophetic word Help us to be followers of you. Help us to be completely on your side. Help us to go by the prophetic word. Lord, we, we have so many things that we see that we probably trust in, but the word is a little bit tougher sometimes for us. I don't know why, but we ask for you to help us to put all of our faith first in your word, and then we can take everything in life from there. Thank you for hearing our prayer, Lord, and thank you for letting us ask you to help us draw close to you through your word. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. So we need God's help so that we won't be spiritual flip-floppers and we won't be more like Zedekiah. We want to be more like Jesus, following out and doing what God's will is all the time at every step. And God can do that for you and I even today, even as we carry on in this, into the steps that take us through this day. God be with you today.